We all know heartbreak. It's hard to imagine anything more painful. It hurts the body and it hurts the soul. Sometimes there's absolutely no relief. Nothing hurts like a broken heart. We all know heartbreak. I've been creating art to express those feelings and exploring different concepts about heartbreak. In one day, I realized a bit of a contradiction. If my heart is experiencing so much pain and feeling so much emotion, is it actually broken? I wondered if the feelings and the pain would indicate that it's actually working perfectly fine, as it should, therefore not really broken. I created a small collection called The Never Broken Heart, where I explore the concept that for some of us, certain parts of our heart seem to be unbreakable. For some of us it's love, no matter their heartbreak, they will always find love in their heart. For some people it's hope. Hope to heal and love again. And I personally decided to have unbreakable compassion. To always find a way to have compassion in my heart for anyone who hurts me. There's a lyric I love in one of Kesha's songs called Rainbow that inspired this next painting because it talks about unbreakable hope. She sings, I can't lose hope, what's left of my heart is still made of gold. And it made me wonder if what's left of her broken heart is made of gold because it is unbreakable or because it is most valuable. And I think it could be both, but I realized that there is value and power in heartbreak. I wanted to create an art piece to express the beauty of heartbreak. I printed the music sheets from the song, tinted them red, and used them to create a heart that's been stabbed by a dagger. But from these wounds grow these rose plants that are made of gold. I use the same tinted paper to create the roses. Then I sculpted small hummingbirds, spray painted them gold, and attached them to the canvas. I wanted it to represent the stabbing heartache, but also the growth, healing, and beauty. I sometimes think we might have it all wrong, and we undervalue and underappreciate that unshakable and undeniable pain from heartbreak. I think sometimes we fight so hard against it because it hurts so much, but it ends up hurting us in other ways. We overeat, overdrink, we smoke, we binge, we procrastinate, we self-destruct. We do anything to avoid the heartache, the sadness, and the grief. And we end up losing ourselves. As uncomfortable and painful as it might be, sadness is sometimes the appropriate emotion when we're hurt by someone we love. Sadness and grief are the appropriate emotions when we lose someone we love. These painful emotions are necessary and valuable. The pain is actually only an indication of how much we loved and cared. This pain is also an indication of our hearts working properly and lovingly. We all know heartbreak. And therefore, this pain connects us all. It allows for authentic human connection, and it can also help us have more compassion and love for each other. And that, to me, is the beauty of heartbreak.